This is an approach play lesson video that you're involved with, but a challenge as well, Ray. What's the yardage to the flag, Matt? 149 playing. Right, if you down. get the port, the ball to pin eye or past, mm -hmm. you play it. If you're short of pin eye, you have to bring it back to the front of the green. Okay. So it's an experiment on why are people always so short with their approaches? Because I think the club up message that we've used in lots of people does say something, but I don't think it says enough. It's a bit simple. That message. It's a little too simplistic, and I think it could also be dangerous, like most stats are, if we're not applying them sensibly and everyone's still learning how to so I'm not saying this is right either but a fun little experiment approach play lessons if you like the ideas in any of our coaching videos this one and other ones with myself and coach Lockie and you're interested in the services we offer for golf lessons what you can do is hit the link down below to our my golf gains website where you can inquire this could be done remotely as well as in person follow the links down below and you could be having a lesson for myself or coach backyardage is 165 Bear in mind the game, it's 162, sorry, from where I'm behind with the camera. Bear in mind the game is to get back. You want to be playing a 150 plus yardage. So, um, I've got to get it pin eye or pass. Correct. What club have you got? I've got a nine. What club would you hit if you were just playing normally? A nine. So you're going to hit this one harder? Well, I'm... Or are you just I'm automatically this aggressive? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm just so confident in my pure striking that I would just use this. Okay. Um, no, I'm reacting to the first already because I had exactly the same yardage and I hit a nine and it's slightly passed. Like it. So I would pick nine for you. I'm gonna go. What have you got, Ray? I'm stuck between nine and eight, but yeah. with the game in mind. Or not. Yeah. But if I no, it doesn't have to be on the green. You can go over the back and then we see the dangers of trying to go I long know too. What over the back looks like on this hole. So if I was playing, I'd probably hit a nine. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so rate the strike, Matt, so we can tell if you've clubbed correctly. A tiny bit thin, but good. Yeah, that goes. Pass the pin. Yeah. Back right. Good, and the strike allowed you to do that. It yeah. wasn't a, uh, like a fat or a thin, a miss hit that would come up short. No. Good clubbing. What are you hitting, Reyes? Well, now I'm obviously I've just I'm reacting to your shot too. Yeah, good. So, like, I know nine's the right club for golf yeah. and for this game <laughs> to make sure I'm pin high or past. Who does come up short, so maybe you're getting Halfway golf right. yeah. a little bit possible. No, I mean, I'm, should be more aggressive more often. I'm really guilty of picking a club that I know if I flush it, that's the yardage, whereas I shouldn't be doing that. Okay. So let me ask you this question. What club do you hit 165? Between an eight and a seven. And what two clubs you got in your hand? Nine and eight. Okay, one's inside the back yardage. I'm not saying it's right because there is downwind element to it. Yeah, yeah, the downwind and the fact that I know if I nut this, I could go long. But so what have you chosen? I've got the eight. It's such a load of skills piled on top of each other, isn't it, to get this right? Especially when it's someone who's just like, all I'm worried about is finding that bit of the club. Uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah, when you start factoring... Like we're quite... Yeah. Part of the whole conundrum of just telling people to club up might not help. So you've thin, that, thin. that was thin, yeah. And you've hit it the wrong line which might affect it getting past pin eye. It That's is pin eye, it needs to sit, it's kind I of next T. That's a good shot. Yeah. I reckon I'd that's... I'd have to absolutely murder it to be really dangerous long. I reckon that's 10 yards long, 15 long. It's on the next tee, isn't it? Yeah. So just a little add-on for me. I'm aiming at the right side of that hump, the yeah. burnt bit, with an idea of a little fade. Yeah, I aimed middle with a bit of fade. Because I think there's more room on that green. So that's to do with me trying to get short and long, but also using east and west as an idea as well. Yeah. Like where your ball flew was worrying for me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a nine, and I'm going to give it a decent hit. So I've caught that a fraction heavy. I think it's fine though with the wind and the bounce. It should be good. Pin eye, isn't it? It's going to be well, pin we'll eye. Check. It's close. Yeah. Now, that was strike base. So if that was yeah. a stat that came up short, clubbing good. That was just I could have struck it a fraction purer. Yeah. So if we have a look at the results, I'm pin high. Pin high, perfect. Uh, and I would. This is a poor shot. So I, like my. Better shot would have got back here. Yeah. Which I'm still happy with. 
it would have really struggled to go over that green. Uh huh. Um, yours is a good shot. Yeah, back of the green, probably only a few more paces away than yours, I reckon. Yeah. Um, I reckon, I reckon you are. I reckon you're only like four or five paces further away. Than yeah. Most. Yeah. If you just did it slightly shorter or a slightly different line, you're going to be here yeah. rolling off this bank. Now, Ray's really interesting. Because Ray was the right club. Because he was bounding around here, wasn't he? He pitched like, yeah, in pin eye, probably just short, yeah. So I stepped to raise it 17 paces. Yep. So watch this. One, two, three, four. Eleven. 17 paces, basically. He could have aimed from here. Yeah. All the way around. Look at all this grass he's got to play with. Yep. And they were trying to get it past pin eye. There's a bunker there, so you wouldn't want to aim any more left of, say, about here. Yep. Landing where he did showed not, it wasn't that he wasn't able to get pin eye, he's actually gone past because of the bounce. It would be one of those rare stats. Yeah. But that isn't a long shot, it's a left shot. Yeah. It's not understand. I see that pin on the left. Anything flying at this pin, I'm proper wet in my pants. The thing is, like with our shot um, analysis and where we're aiming, so me and you, middle of the green, like with a bit of fade to move it away from bunker at the front left there. Like if you hit that close, like people would clap, but you know that that's a complete pull and it's gone close and it's lucky. But you in your shotgun pattern or dispersion will have that pull in you. And it's just lucky that it came out at that time. Yeah. We, but yeah, totally. like Rory's hit a pull there, I would say, yeah. and he's just aiming in the general vicinity. The vicinity. Of the green. We asked him where he was aiming. He said at the green. And if yeah. you listen to the language I was using, and Matt didn't articulate, so he didn't ask. But I'm sure he does. I was aiming at the right hand side of this hub. Yeah. I, now Rory says, well, I'm just trying to hit the green. I'm not good enough to do that. Yeah. But you got to note that pins on. I could see the pins on the left, and I know every green here has got a roll off. Mm -hmm. And I want to be rolling off over there. Yeah. And I'm working that in. I weren't working that into my shot shape because that's just the shot shape I want to play. Mm -hmm. I would never draw or fade into a pin personally, apart from extreme cases. But I'm going to aim here, knowing it's going to move there or there. Or the a pull is good. The only time I would aim over here is if I just really wanted to challenge myself in a practice yeah. or I was Thing properly is, attacking. But there's even great arguments to yeah. say. If you attack, you start lowering your chances. Your chances. Yeah. It's like saying, I'm going to win roulette now by putting it all on two. You're just yeah. lowering your odds. Yeah. It's silly. So, great example there of understanding clubs, but also then working in where that pin is. Yeah, really good. So he's 200 to the back, 184 flag, wind into off the left, it's like going this way. He yeah. hit six normally, he's going to hit five. Green just down here. And I don't think he's going to get this past the pit. No. That's a good strike. He struck it brilliantly. Oh, yeah, that's high, it. And that's just a really good shot, that has to be short. It's short, mile short. Yeah. Short of the green. So that, that's a combination of clubbing. Yeah. So Paul clubbing, he would maybe think of that a four, but it is, his four's broken. Mm -hmm. But his original club, he said, was six. Yeah. Um, not being able to keep it low. Uh -huh. And then possibly, like, he's in a good position there. So I just telling him to club up. I'm happy with that. He's got yeah. a shot here. Yeah. That's coming up short, but it's a good shot. Situation based. Yeah. So we're now into a very different scenario. 155 flag, pin is at the back, so then you would assess with a short approach as well. But this for this game, just for the fun, you want to go pin eye to beyond. But at 155, you're like eight to nine iron subjects to the wind. You can, you, it's going to stop. You know, 
Ray's coming in with what should have been a four iron. He can't go hitting an extra club. It's coming in so low. Yeah, my extra club in that scenario is two iron. Yeah, well, that's a bag setup yeah. issue though, isn't it? But let's pretend you had a four iron. That's still coming in hot. Yeah. If you start putting 20 yards of roll in, getting it anywhere near the green is an advantage. Like if I'm hitting a three wood into a green that's going to have 30 yards of roll, I, I'm like greenside bunker I'm happy with. Because it's so interesting, like the game of getting it to the pin or pass on this one, like it's a fun game, but I would never do that in a competition here. I don't want to end up in the rough on that bank at the back if I hit one of my dispersions of the longer side. Yeah. Like I could, uh, like I'm thinking about feathering an eight just so I make sure I get it pin eye and I do the competition that we're trying to do. But in an actual tournament, like I would be putting my longer side of my dispersion on the pin and then missing short yeah. every time. Yeah, I like that. And I think that's a good message. And that's, I think I've said it, just club up. We've said it in videos and I don't think it's clever enough. Yeah. I think we're wrong. I think we need to, that's early stats maybe and not looking at it deep enough and that's the thing with stats like until you learn how to use them they can be dangerous too because i can get this past the pin but it's a good one the nine where is which it? means it's coming up short hit a little late go long it's the game oh. <laughs> it's the game okay because rory's got to get his next shot past the pin or he's coming back to the front again <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> guaranteed to go past Little clean, the wind might take it more than he wants, or was it not yeah, clean? Ah, Rate right. strike, Matt? Uh, about a six. Yeah, so the strike has let you down. The idea of what you were trying to achieve is was good, but the right. execution was poor. And this is the other point with clubbing up. It's, I would say 90% of the situations we're in, Ray's, yours not feeling confident committing to that shot, which leads on to Scott Fawcett's idea of um, like your mental scorecard yeah, for yeah. each shot, like yeah. you should walk away and start again. There's yeah. no don't, he said the other day in a podcast, which I thought was really, really interesting. Yeah. And we'll go to mine and show you mine where there's another situation where I, I, I'm not getting mine past the pin, we'll show you. So, I mean, I've got a really good driver, I couldn't have been any better, and then this great sort, and I've just caught one of the humps. I mean, this is a crazy <laughs> <laughs> um, so the idea I'm to play the game here puts me in more trouble. Yeah. To try and get it past the pin, to try and club up here, is just not right. So I'm 115 front, 136 middle, 154 back. So I've got a ridiculous club in my hand. Are you hitting it high? I've got a chippy seven. Oh, okay. If I was playing in a tournament here, I'd just accept that I'm a bit buggered and just like maybe try and punch a little eight somewhere yeah. up there. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a club extra in, a, in the most ridiculous situation. Just choosing extra club, we've said it. I just think it's not the play. That's short, look how high that is. <laughs> yeah. I think that's so controlled from that line. It is short, it's middle of the green, maybe front to middle. But then maybe on the flip side, if I was to do my normal play, which would be in the eight, you would have come up short. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, yeah. It's so... I just don't think it's as basic as clubbing up. I think there are situations, but plenty where there's not. Uh -huh. Walking up to the green. And uh, yours is a decent shot for a six strike. Yeah. Mine was as good as I could hit from the situation, and I'm further away than you. Yeah. There's plenty of green back there. Yeah, there is. Like, I could have chucked it way further, but then you are darting around with this stuff. Yeah. So again, the left and right plays its part, which doesn't play its part on the stat. The stat just says you leave it short. Because I think also like the walking up here and not knowing the green, like if I, I'm looking at that and thinking it's literally like five yards past the pin, you've got probably at least 10 to 12 yards until you hit that bank there, haven't you? But if you take my shot, the angle it's on, and yeah. I try and get past the pin. Yeah, you're off. I'm landing here going down into a place where my up and down stats are lower than there. Yeah. And that's going to come up as a stat, as a short approach. Yeah, I think... Measuring your intention, I think, has to be put into that stat if you're collecting them yourself and thinking about your approach. And if we put it into context, Rory's shot with a five or whatever it is, it's just a really good shot. Yep. He's nowhere near. Go on, Ray, pitch it up. Oh, <laughs> Lourish. <this bit>. Yeah. <laughs> oh, set, set him up here. This is either here. short or long. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nice. Oh, nice. Come on, come on, Jeez. come on. Oh, Ray. That short. short. Play it again. So we're now 100 yards middle, 83 front. Heading nearer the front. And because I've got a very different club in my hand, one that I know has got a better chance of stopping, this is now where, even though I'm not clubbing up, trying to hit up more, absolutely does apply. Okay. For me. Yeah. Because um, short's just pointless, long you're going to be hitting the green. Uh huh. And I mean, it's tricky on a Lynx course because it is a different conundrum as well, but you're hoping a, a decent hit with a 52 is going to land and stop. So this is one where I would stand here and try and give it more of a thump to the long side. So if you're in between any clubs here, you know, if you're short a hitter, like wedge or nine idea. Middle of the green. But that's just the play every time. And a good I'm shot. gonna get lucky and hit one short by accident that goes close. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Ray, as someone with a wider distribution of shots, are you yeah, are you a <laughs> that famous distribution word? Um are you feeling similar ideas now that you are now starting to zone in more that you don't want to be short? Like when you, yeah, earlier you I said do, you just want to hit the green. I do what wind off the right slightly. I'm just kind of looking at the pin and past it. Yeah. So even you are now starting to get to the aggressive side. You said what 110 to pin, didn't you? It's uh, yeah, that it's re yeah, it's about 105. Yeah. So I've got a club which, in theory, if I hit it well, it will fly the pin. Yeah. Um, that's a big if. What loft? I've got 52. Okay. So there's a great stat there. That's short of the pin, but that has to be based around intention, mm. as in my intention was good. What's your ankles in there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My execution wasn't. Yeah. Execution. If you're if you're coming up short through execution, then it's clear, isn't it? It's get lessons, work on your game. Yeah, yeah. If you're coming up short because you've just picked the wrong club, or because that that's where like the um, GPS stuff. Like you want to know what your intent is, and then we know that that's just a complete miss hit. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's a miss hit because you're 100 yards away and it's gone 50. Well, we want you to like be able to, when you finish, we would want you to be able to go. If I look at your stats, it's going to go short. I want to know why. You'll, I then want you to be able to tell me, well, I'm hitting 40% of these shots from 100 yards in, I'm fattening them. Oh, okay. So I'm not going to tell you to club up. I'm not. I'm going to yeah. get you on the range or give you. That, that one just goes in your approaches. Yeah, it? yeah. It's just one of your forty percent that's short. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, to say that they do, that might be filtered out because they do filter out the tops nine, and yeah, the bottoms. Five, so that yeah, could yeah. be filtered out as well. But Ray does a lot. Of yeah. <laughs> you can't filter out all his shots. He'll have no stats left. <laughs> Halfway, Ray. <right. laughs> Go on then, Matt, let's yeah. see your intentions the same as all of us. Okay, I, like my intentions have kind of changed recently doing all this stuff. Like I'm going more along the pin middle of the green and if I hit my bad one it goes close, but 100% like before all these chats I've been just thinking pin. Yeah. Like constantly. Yeah. Honestly, I would literally be standing there thinking how close can I hit this? Yeah. And I'd miss it on the right, I'd miss it long and short, but yeah. like. I look at your ball now and just think I'm happy there. I'm good there and a hole at one of them every now and then. Yeah. That's all good. Isn't and it? your variance, I think that's like I'm gonna hit some shorter than that that come up closer. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, what was it? Like a hundred Yeah, hundred and five fly is good. Pin eye right again. It's execution though. And that's yeah. it's it's having the, this, the 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 knowing the difference between. And I think it is really clear as well that lots of people don't have these clear ideas before they hit the ball. You don't have these clear ideas. That's a better one, mate. You're um. Well, I think if you don't have these clear ideas, I always think, how do you know if you get a good or bad shot? Yeah. At yeah. the end of the day. If you're trying to hit it in that matter. Yeah, then think now how good it is to hit yeah. if you're trying to hit that little twig. Yeah. And you know it's quite I'm X far from bad. that little twig. Yeah. Name small miss small, is that saying? Oh, it is if you look for <laughs> <laughs>